what's up YouTube you know what time it is it's my fan coming at you from the hot mighty kingdom here <laughs> the second floor ah I got my towel just in case but um we're gonna try to get through this so I, I got some pickups here well more than some because I realized since the last time I did a pickup vid I've accumulated a few things so we're gonna we're gonna catch up on the pickups um and as far as like the, the other Jersey vids, the collection vids, I'm probably going to hold off on those for, for just a bit. I know I haven't made one in some weeks. It's tough. It's tough to film up here this time of year when it's hot. You know, yeah, I got the fans, but they really only do so much. And, you know, when you're going through a rack of jerseys, it, it does, I, you know, I become a puddle afterwards, and it's not very fun. <laughs> and I do have a passion for it, as you all know. I mean, I love doing this. I love the Jersey game. You know, being a Jersey head, doing everything with it, you know, putting the hats with it. As some of you know, you know, it's something I love to do. So one of the other vids I do want to make, I, I know I was on with the fellas from uh, Views from the Vault not long ago. Shout out to you guys. Great time, as always, you know, chatting it up with, with you guys. But um, I did a, I had an appearance on there and I did like my top 10 combo wombos for the Jersey hat deals. And there were stuff that I had as like, you know, honorable mentions that obviously we had a little time to try and get to it and that's fine. But I do kind of want to do a video kind of as a piggyback to that, kind of showing some of the other, you know, hat jersey, jersey hat combo wombo deals, as I love to say. Um, so I want to do that too. Um, and I do want to finish off the collection, you know, showing the stuff. I got one more rack of stuff and the NBA room in the Mighty Kingdom, and I got my Philly teams. I, I might do those first just because they're all down in the basement area where it's coolest, so I probably will at some point do some vids, and I'll do one per sport. And I had to do the hockey jerseys that are up here too, so there's still, you know, a decent amount of stuff to share, and, uh, you know, I will get to them. It's just right, I, you know, I'm not a summer guy. I'm really more of a fall autumn guy when the weather's cooler and crisp and halloween and you know thanksgiving black friday of course so it's that's really my my wheelhouse is that time of year you know where i don't sweat like a freaking I, I sweat in the shade but it's just that this time of year with the humidity is bad and actually today and tomorrow is going to be up there but I, I, I can't let this go any further because I have been remiss that I haven't been able to do some pickups. And I have some pretty nice heaters in here. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to one of my viewers in, 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 uh, in YouTube here. To, to, to the, uh, goes by the YouTube handle, Sean Kemp. I'm not talking about the Rain Man, but Sean Kemp. <laughs> uh, shout out to you. He actually saw me at the Mitchell Ness store um, a couple weeks ago. And uh, they were doing a deal where if, if you're following them on Instagram, you know that they were doing this deal where bigger size jerseys and bigger meaning size 56 and up was like, they're just trying to liquidate stuff. They had them on a rack. They were like a hundred bucks each, whatever, you know, they had. And I found some nice gems in there uh, during that. And they, I don't know if that, I would imagine they're still doing it, but I don't know, you know, what the particulars are. They haven't really shown anything in a while. Which is probably good for me because, you know, I went there like a few times. <laughs> Every time I would see them posting, it's like, oh, well, I might, I might want to go and take a look. And shout out to Matt, who works at Mitchell and Ness. He was kind enough to let me know what they had. I was probably bugging them a lot. What do you have in this? What do you have in that? And, it, you know, the, the, the jersey head in me went, went overload for that. But it is what it is. But shout out to Sean Kemp. He actually, like, saw me. I was outside. He... You know, wait, because they only obviously let a few people in at a time. He came outside. He said, hey, Mighty Fan. You know, we chatted up a little bit. He showed me his stuff. And he asked me recently what I picked up. And I said, I'll show it as part of my pickup vid. So, in fact, the, those, the pickups from that deal are part of this, too, of course. So, you'll see them. But there's some other stuff here. So, enough of me going on like that. And let's just, let's get into the merchandise, as it were. So, the first pickup here... This wasn't part of the deal at the, uh, in fact, I'll show that stuff first. These are uh, either pickups from eBay or I got a few things from uh, some fellow Jersey heads in the community. I know I'm already sweating. So let's get through this. First off, we have the Minnesota Vikings 
Fran Tarkenton. This is the away Fran Tarkenton jersey. And I might remember I got the home one some time ago. This is on 1976. And it's just funny because I did mention a while back that the white ones are harder to find, at least for me. And, you know, I was able to find one of these pretty <laughs> pretty quickly after I said, you know, the white ones are tough to get and then one pops up on eBay. It's just one of those weird, you know, deals. So there's there's the uh, there's the uh, the away, I should say the away uh, Fran Tarkinson white jersey. And I, I, they made a few of these in the white. I I think they made him and uh, Chuck Foreman. I don't think they made a lot of the white ones. They made the purple ones, obviously primary. But uh, let's see. And yeah, this is another one of those, you know, kind of, you know, last of the holdouts for this particular team. I don't know why I didn't have a, this guy's jersey before, because when you think of the New Orleans Saints, you, you, you generally think of Archie, right? So here's the Archie Manning. Uh, this is the away 1971. Yeah, 1971. Archie Manning, New York China run. Now, they made a couple of different years for the white one. That I know they made this guy, and they ma they made another one with that double kind of. Well, it, it's pressed on, but it has like the gold border going around the eight and around the name too. And uh, I have that in a few of them. I have that in the Earl Campbell, and in the uh, in the Ken Stabler in that style. So I was happy to get another kind of style in the Saints from that time period. But you do have the pressed on stripes, black and gold. Um, shout out to my buddy Big Slim because <laughs> we both were eyeballing this up on eBay and, and he, he said, yeah, you know, he, he already had some Archies in his collection. So, and, and he asked me, he's like, I can't believe you don't already have one. I'm like, I don't either, but I'm hoping to get one now. <laughs> Cause see, I mean, look, I, Big Slim, you guys know, I mean, he, he, he uh, you know, he sends me, you know, auctions from time to time, like alerts me to stuff. Hey, you might want to go after this. And there were times in the past where he would send me an arch, uh, an auction for an Archie Manning Saints jersey, and it was dirt cheap, and I still didn't get it. I don't know why. It's one of those mysteries of life. Maybe I had already gotten some things, and I'm like, yeah, if it can just last. I'm just, I'm just that way with my billing cycle because I use a credit card for everything. So when I get to a point where I shouldn't. <laughs> put anything else on it then i try to be good but uh but i always do appreciate slim thank you and and you know I, i'm glad that to, to grab this and and i know he was too because if i didn't get both of us were going to miss out and that wouldn't have been good <laughs> he certainly would have reminded me of that <laughs> so all right this is uh, my most recent pickup. This just came in the mail Saturday. Um, now, this one has a little story behind it. So this is the 88 Pete Rose with the All-Star patch. And I actually just got the hat with the All-Star patch on the side, the Reds hat. Um, now, of course, back then, Mitchell and Ness didn't have the player rights, so it doesn't have the name on the back. It should. But... It didn't because they didn't have the player rights, or it doesn't because they didn't have the player rights at that time. But, you know, it's the home, Cincinnati Reds. Um, the thing about this one is I do want to send this off to a guy who does, I need my towel, guy who does the, oh, yes, the famous towel, I know. <laughs> uh, the guy who does uh, jersey customization work, Bill Henderson. Uh, he does this. He does this whole jersey guide for baseball jerseys, you know. Uh, downloadable guide I don't have it uh, but he does a lot of custom work and he specializes in baseball and I've seen other people have submitted Mitchell Ness older run jerseys without the name on the back and he'll put the name on the back I don't know anything about price range I have no idea I've never worked with him before but this is a jersey I want to send off to him uh, for his, the, the dream shop to have Rose put on the back and you know I just I love those old Reds jerseys with the big names on the back so the rose, and I don't know if he's going to have to, you know, position this 14 a little lower if the rose can go over there. You know, we'll see. But I want to send this to him for him to put rose on the back. And I also have a St. Patrick's Day Mike Schmidt, which was a home. Uh, it has, it, it's, it's a white 
uh, jersey, but it has green pinstripes and green, you know, the racing stripes going down the, the shoulders. It just has a 20 on the back. And there was someone else who has that had that jersey and sent it off to, to, to Mr. Henderson and the Dream Shop, and they put the name on the back on the nameplate as it should be. And what, what they do is if you subscribe to them or if you like them or whatever it is on Facebook, that Bill will like put out pictures of completed jerseys that they worked on. And I saw that St. Pat's Mike Schmidt, I think it's an 81, Mike Schmidt home St. Patrick's Day jersey. And I just went, oh, I got it. Because I, I have that jersey. And I'm like, oh, that big name plate with Schmidt on the back. I need that. So I'll probably end up sending him that one as well as this at the same time. And then I'll take a vid. I'll, I'll do a vid later of you seeing the, I'll, I'll do a before and after. So you'll see this jersey again without the name. And then I'll show you with the name and the same for Schmidt. I have a few other jerseys like that, but I'm not really sure if I want to, you know, move them right away now or not. Might maybe just wait, send them a couple, see how it goes, what the process is, what the wait time is. And uh, I know he does great work because I've seen what they do. They'll take like blank jerseys and customize it. But, um, you know, being that I've never worked with them before, I kind of just want to see how, what the process is and then maybe submit some other stuff down the road. Because I have a couple of White Sox jerseys. You know, I have a Tom Seaver. Of the two, I'd probably send the Tom Seaver because I have a, a, a road Tom Seaver, as you saw in one of my previous vids, and I have the home um, Carlton Fisk. But the thing about the Carlton Fisk is I see, you know, the one I have is a bit of a bigger one. And that's one that's kind of common. So you see it enough with the name. Maybe I'll just grab one with the name. Yeah, we'll see. I haven't made up my mind completely on that. But Seaver I might turn in because that's a rare jersey. And it just has the 41 on the back. So I'd kind of like to have the Seaver put on the back. Anyhow. That's a little ramble. That that but that's the plan for this Pete Rose. because uh, I, you know, I, I love the I love the jersey. I love the patch. But just I want that big name on the back, <laughs> just to complete it, you know. And it is, it's an older run Mitchell Ness. This one was a uh, made in Mexico, so this is an older run Mitchell Ness. And like I said, they didn't have the naming rights for baseball back then. They had the other sports, but they didn't have baseball. But they still pumped out those jerseys just because it was the jersey boom day. Everybody wanted jerseys, so they made them anyhow, just without the name. And now you can get the name put on, customized. <laughs> All right. Set the towel off again. Um, this next one here, it's just one of those that, you know, I didn't get back in the day, and then it became kind of difficult to get. It is a newer China, but this came out some years ago. So you got that 84 shot to Rob. In the group, uh, in the new era uh, fitted group, Detroit Tigers. And, of course, shout out to Big Baby holding it down in the Motor City. 84, Lance Parrish. Lance did not have a very good career with the Phillies. But with the Tigers, he was pretty good. He was one of the uh, in integral parts of their 84 championship team. So here's the Lance Parrish, number 13. I don't think I'll ever get his Phillies jersey, but I have his Tigers jersey. Um Road gray, love road gray. Those of you know, I mean, this is the best of both worlds for me, you know, other than Phillies jerseys, because I love road gray and I love pullover jerseys from that time period. And this is both big Detroit on the front, Paris 13 on the back, got the stripes on the sleeves, awesome jersey. I got a, um, uh, I got an Allen Trammell and I got an Al Lance in this. So there it is. All right, so shout out to my buddy Snacks, of course, Throwback King. He'll actually be visiting the Mighty Kingdom coming up soon. Going to see him on Friday. May have to do a collab video. Going to probably have to do that. But I got, <laughs> I, I, I got this one from him. This was in his collection. He sold it to me. Uh, this is the Andre de Hawk Dawson Montreal Expos with the All-Star patch, of course. From 80, was that 82? Yep, 1982. 82 Andre Dawson. It is a newer China run. But these came out some years ago, and these became hard to get. Uh, they made they made Dawson and they made uh, Tim Rock Reigns in this particular powder, you know, the, the light blue uh, road jersey. And of course, years ago, they made uh, Gary Carter, they made Randy Johnson's rookie. 
you know. So they've done them in the past, but then that particular set, they just did the uh, Dawson and the uh, Reigns. And I actually have a Reigns being held for me for from someone else, so shout out to Eric. I got, I got a little pile being set aside for me from Eric. <laughs> And Jersey had some time. It, it, hey, you know, what can you do? You collect, you collect. But I um, always like the Expos jerseys from that time period. I do have some others in the works by the Candyman. So shout out to the Candyman. By the way, the Candyman is uh, Mac, of course, and Diddy. Rivalry Sports where I got my Barkley for a future vid, but I have it here. I do have the home with the number 32, of course, the, the shooting stars. And I know my buddies... Uh, Big Slim and Nostalgia Boy did their Mac Rack videos. Now, I, I just want to go on, on the record by saying I did say Mac Rack first, but Slim wanted to use it first just so I can't use it. So, <laughs> so, so they Slim made his video with all of his different uh, rivalry done jerseys, and Nostalgia Boy showed the white Sixer shooting star Barkley number 32. Okay, which I have. It's not pictured here, but I do have it. And I have that one. But I might remind them that I was the first to get them. Because <laughs> I got the sample ones in before anyone else got a Shooting Stars Barkley in. So, Slim, you may have coined the Mac Rack on YouTube, but I got these first. <laughs> I was the first with them <laughs> for the Shooting Star Chucks. <laughs> I know he has all four of them, right? All different, not the 34, 32, home and away, 32. The home and away 32s, the home and away 34s, but I'm getting some stuff from the candy. But don't, don't worry. It, it might take me, like, until the end of the year to fill a rack, make my own rivalry rack, but it's going to happen. I got quite a few coming from, including four Expos jerseys. Oh, my. And <laughs> we're moving on. Um, but yeah, sh shout out, of course, to, to, uh, Throwback King, to Snacks for that one. Much appreciated. And last but not least for the non, uh, Mitchell and Ness, uh, sale or deal, you know, pickups, store pickups, uh, shout out to Dan Mills for this one. Uh, this is the Phil Necro Atlanta Braves, who the Phillies are playing right uh, this weekend. But 80, 1981 home uh, Necro, and I had the 76 away. Uh, and then they had two others. They had the light blue, and then they had the, the, the pinstripe one with his nickname on the back, with Nuxy on the back. I don't have those two, but I have this one now, which is a really nice one. I love that. It's just sharp. I love the, the scripted Braves. It kind of harkens back to the Hank Aaron years, too. Uh, and then, of course, it's a 35 on the front. I love the trim, the red, white, and blue. And then, of course, the big name on the nameplate with the 35 pops. Really, really nice. I won't wear it this weekend, but <laughs> that would be a conflict of interest. <laughs> but, um, and, and I, I, I did notice that, uh, I did notice that, um, Freddie Freeman and Ronald Acuna, uh, Acuna, uh, Acuna Jr., if I can speak right, Ronald Acuna Jr., uh, who were in hitting slumps. It's easy to get out of a hitting slump when you face the Phillies bullpen. Then you can get out of hitting slumps. <laughs> As they both did, unfortunately, yesterday. But it is what it is. I actually have two others to share before. I, I forgot about that. Damn, I got so many damn things since the last time. My God. Anyhow, we're going to move on here. <laughs> We're going to move the Chuck, and we're going to get to Dante. Shout out to D, Peter Tom Willis on, on Facebook. I got this one from him, the Dante Culpepper, authentic uh, Puma, Vikings with the big patch right there. I would love to see, a, 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 you know, one of these hat plate, put, put that on the side of a hat as a side patch. Because I have a few with that logo on it, and, you know, I would love to get the hat with the logo. I know it's a big patch, so they would have to shrink it, but just put it on the side of the hat. Come on, Hat Club. You know you want to. Anyhow, there it is. <laughs> I know the NFL is hard to deal with with them, but there is Mr. Culpepper. Sharp jersey. I really like that big patch, though. That, that just sets it off. So shout out to Peter Tom Willis for the hookup on that one. 
And I got this one. I and uh, I know, but you know what? You do have to pay respect to the goat. I got the Brady right there from his final season in New England. I actually got a deal on this at the store uh, that 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 the sports shop. I got this from at a local mall because I was arguing with a Dallas fan in there. <laughs> and. I t those local Dallas fans, they love to talk for a team that hasn't even been to an NFC title game since the 90s. Boy, they just, they, they, they like to, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a little back and forth argument going on and they liked how I argued with them. So this originally was like 25% off and they got, gave it to me for 50% off. <laughs> they liked how I argued with them. <laughs> so this is the, uh, <laughs> this is the Brady and you'll note the hundredth on there. So, of course, last season was Tom's uh, uh, top of Brady's last uh, season in, in New England. Now he's with Tampa Bay, of course, top of Brady. So this is his last season in New England, Jersey. It does signify, signify that. So, I, you know, I just had to pick it up, you know, something for the collection. I mean, he is the GOAT. As an Eagles fan, I, I will still admit to it. Yep, he's the GOAT, and I'm glad we beat him. In the Super Bowl. Because if there was anyone to win your first Super Bowl against, it would be the Brady and the Patriots. That that was how it had to happen. Uh, yeah, I have to towel off again. I feel like a you know, like a like a singer or performer, you know, I have to towel off every now and then. <laughs> the old James Brown or something. Someone should be here to hand me the towel. <laughs> and uh Last but not least, uh, uh, I, I can't tell you how much I love this jersey. This is uh, the, the, the alternate orange Dolphins, Ricky Williams. You, you, need the, you need a little puff right with it. But no, the, the <laughs> Ricky Williams, this thing is just crazy, crazy nice. I know Mitchell and Ness made like the... the the legacy line. It, no, this is this is the authentic Reebok. Um, I, I I just the details on this thing that the sleeves, the just the, the gaudiness of it. I definitely have to get some more orange dolphin jerseys because this is just too nice. I just I really love this jersey, and I got the right fitted for it too, which you'll see in a future vid for the combo wombo. There is the uh, jock tag. Oh my God, this thing pops! Oh, it, it it's just it it's just just beautifully gaudy. It just really is. <laughs> and then I got the road. I got the road Ricky too, authentic, and this one's cool too. I love the road Dolphin jerseys too, just the the look of them. And this is another Reebok equipment. From back in the day. So I still need to get the teal. I want to get the teal to finish off the uh, trifecta for Ricky Williams and the Dolphins. So nice. Love those. All right. See, you know, you, you, you're never going to know what you'll find in the Mighty King. There's just a... Uh, it's a little of everything. You know, it's a little of everything in here. So... We got Authentics, we got Mitchell and S, we got custom stuff. You just, you never know what you're going to find in here. Never know. So anyhow, let's go to the last of the pickups. I know it's been long right now, but there's been a lot to share and it's still hot in here, but we're going to, we're going to tough through it, tough through it. And these are the pickups from the, uh, the Mitchell and S store, All right? Like I said, they were doing a deal. They had a rack and they're just trying to liquidate stuff. Apparently they're moving locations. I think in the fall at some point. Uh, in, it's still still staying in Philly, but the stores are going to move from where they are right now on 12th Street to another location in Philly. That's like their 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 plan. So they're they're trying to move as much merchandise so that it's less for them to have to move for whenever they move the store location. Ah, so these these were from that deal they were having. So. Uh, and, and, and so the Sean Kemp, this, this answers your question as to what I picked up for the, uh, for that deal. I met some other guys in there too. I forget their names. I met them 
you know, in this in the store looking through this stuff too. So shout out to anyone who was there with me. Uh, we got the Dennis Smith. And this is one of the reasons I went that particular day because in their story on Instagram, you had a, an employee, a Mitchell Ness employee holding this up in the, in the picture. And this is the, this is the last of the players I needed to finish off the 94 set as far as players go. So I have all the others here home and away, but I didn't have a Dennis Smith till now. Now I have Dennis Smith. So now we're good. <laughs> But because I have Mecklenburg and, and Elway and uh, Atwater and, of course, Smith. Now I got Smith. So this is the Dennis Smith 94, and this is a China run. So it's got the red tag in there. 75th Annie. 1994 Dennis Smith from the Orange Crush Broncos. And I found this one in there too. Fridge Perry, 85 Bears, the away, uh, basically the Super Bowl jersey. Although I like the Walter Payton. I, the Walter Payton I have is an older run. Whew, that one's nice. They're both nice, but that one, woo, something about the shine. And this one does have the shine too, but that one, woo. There it is. And he sneaked that touchdown away from Walter in the Super Bowl, but, you know, what can you do? Of course, the iconic 85 Bears. The Bears. Right there, Fridge Perry, who actually was with the Eagles towards the end of his career, too. So, former Eagle as well, Fridge Perry. I think at one point there was a penalty on the Eagles because Fridge Perry's stomach was offsides. <laughs> And anyhow, these are the other two that I was able to get from the deal they were having. And, and this is just this is a surprise one. I, I did not expect to see this one in there. Honestly, I didn't think I would have a chance at this because I didn't get it originally when it was available. And then of course it just you know wasn't available, but was able to find it. This is a Houston Astros before they were tr the uh, trash can ba bangers. Uh, the, <laughs> the Astros logo. It also also has the. Uh, MLB 100th logo on the other sleeve. Cooperstown Collection. This is a Jimmy Wynn. Um, Houston Astros Road Flannel. This is a 69. Jimmy Wynn right there. I think his nickname was the Toy Cannon or Cannon. Something like that. Great player. He actually passed away not long ago, I believe, if I remember that correct. Houston in the front. 24 in the back, beautiful jersey. And, you know, I'm not a big flannel guy because for obvious reasons, right? But I, <laughs> there's some of them I just had to have, and this was one of them. This was one of them. So I was glad to, I was glad to find it, you know? I was glad to find it. And last but not least, um, this is just one of those that, you know, Mitchell and Ness made a mistake years ago when they made the original version of this. Um... And they corrected it recently, more in more recent time. Excuse me. Woo! In more recent. See what I do for all you lucky people, you. <laughs> in more recent time. So this is the eighty uh, Nolan Ryan Houston Astros jersey, and they also corrected the uh, Jose Cruz. But the deal about the Nolan. So what they did back then, I'll show you. They they had the jersey. Make sure I get the right one here. So as you saw in a previous video of mine, here's the original. And here's the, the uh, modern, okay? They do look the same, but the, the difference is the original, this was stitched. Single stitched, single. And the star was uh, double stitched on there. But they're not supposed to be stitched from the 80 team. So the 80 team, they had the pressed on numbers and letters on the front. The numbers and uh, the name and numbers on the back were stitched, but the, the front it was pressed on. So the more recent China version, they did the pressing with the Astros and with the star logo on the front. And then on the back, they did do the Ryan on the nameplate as it should have been in the 34 double stitched as it should have been. And it is like that on the old run too. But the difference, of course, being the front. 
the front then they and then they corrected that so i wanted to get this just to kind of complete the ryan you know set for the 80 astros i think there's still like one more nolan ryan jersey maybe had uh, you know somewhere out there with another patch on on the sleeve um and i forget the year but i think it's it was the uh, the all-star year it was the 86 or whatever that was the all-star year because the one i have has the uh i think it just has their anniversary year excuse me one second i'm just trying to back check myself of course it's on the other side <laughs> Yeah. So the, the the one that I have has the uh, the one that I have, and I believe it's eighty six. Has the has their their anniversary on there, twenty fifth, the, the silver anniversary. I think it's twenty fifth. But they also had another one with the the all star patch on the sleeve. And I know my buddy uh, J Dub has that, and uh, uh, Birdo, uh, Nostalgia Boy. And I, the one I have just has the all star has the, uh, the 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 anniversary one. So at some point, and I know the one with the, the, the All-Star logo is, is harder to get, but at some, yeah, I need a towel again. At some point, <laughs> at some point, I'm going to want to find, uh, just to complete the set for the Nolan Ryan Astros, I'd like to find the one with the All-Star patch on the sleeve. It, it's a hot patch, it pops, but it's an older run jersey, so it's hard to get. I know Nostalgia Boy has, I believe. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, J Dub just put the pat had the, had both patches on the on the on the jersey. But I think, if I recall, Nostalgia Boy, please comment below if I'm wrong. But if if, if I recall, it was like an old Nolan Ryan, same year, but it has the All Star patch, and then they made the other one with the 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 anniversary patch. Same year, I think. Same jersey, it just has a different patch on it. Could just be the heat. I don't know, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, you know, just, just to complete the set, cause I have all the other Nolan Ryan Houston jerseys now, including the two, you know, the 1980 and, and again, this one, the, the original run of it's, uh, uh, um, you know, it has a lot of, you know, um, you know, nostalgic reasons for this, um, because this was one of the jerseys that just really put Mitchell and S, you know, on the map. Cause you would see. You know the the hip hop artists, you know, wearing this, you know, in a video or on a magazine cover. Everyone wanted it back then. I mean, this was one of the 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 this was one of the most popular, probably most sold Mitchell Ness jerseys of all time. Even though it wasn't exactly historically accurate with the stitching on the front, but it's still, you know, just for that reason of it being, you know, um, just a big history piece for the company. I'm I'm never gonna let this go, <laughs> even though I have two now, but. I mean, this is the original run. I'm not letting this thing go. And then the 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 current run of it, again with the the pressed on Astros and star. I mean, this this I, I love this jersey. I really do. And it's lighter, obviously, in material than the old one. And of course, the other difference is it has the it has this it just has the eighty Nolan Ryan on one side, and then the you know the Mitchell Ness jock on the, but the, the original run, it just has the year in the jock. So it's a little different that way too. Both hot. I don't think you can go wrong with either one. I really don't. If you just have the original or you just have the current, I think you're good. Me just being a stickler, <laughs> I, I wanted to get both, you know, just to kind of complete the set. Ah, okay. With, with that, <laughs> I think I'm going to shut it down. <laughs> So I can go downstairs where it's a little cooler. Yes, I have to. Oh, my God. Yes, I do have air conditioning in the house, but it doesn't work the greatest upstairs. And just, I'm hardly ever up here. You know, I come up to put stuff away and to make videos. That's really, <laughs> that's what I usually come up here for. I'm usually downstairs where, regardless of the time of year, you know, but. I know this is where I like to do my videos because this is where all my stuff is. Well, the, most of the jerseys, you know, most of the, the bulk of the collection is up here. I got all my Philly stuff down there and some other, you know, uh, you know, the non Mitchell Ness baseballs down there. But everything else is up here, so it just makes more sense. You know, probably should have had it all down where it was cooler. That may have been better thinking for video purposes, but, you know... <laughs> 
hey, most of the year it's not this hot. So it's just it's just the deep summer months right now. That's why it gets a little uncomfortable. But anyhow, I, hey, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, this wonderful thirty five minutes of, of pickup joy. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I had a lot to share. I had a lot to show, and I even showed some extra stuff. So, you know, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I will be back again. I'm going to brave the heat again at some point. Because um, I, I would like to do more with the jersey hat deal, you know, showing how I kind of put the jerseys and hats together. And, uh, you know, I hope to get that out within another week or so. Um, and then we'll take it from there. We're going to have some more of the jersey collection shown at some point, probably more in the fall and it's a little more easier to film up here <laughs> uh, without the use of that towel that's become very famous in the uh, the um, new era fitted community the the, uh, the fitted family there <laughs> from the views after dark but um but no I uh, you know I love making these videos I love making the content here for YouTube and I love the fact that you all enjoy this I know people have been asking me are you gonna put another video up uh, I know it's been a minute I'm sorry you know I just you know yeah is what it is but I did have some things to share I did have some pickups and and I do want to get back to the collection stuff and of course hey we're almost you know, as long as they get football season off right fingers crossed and i know college football might not, not be playing this year but the pros i think they're still going to do it in the nfl um of course that would mean the next season of season of the fan right the eagles i know you all look forward to that <laughs> so I, I i guess we got to call this the pandemic season i i, I don't know <laughs> whatever we have to call this one but of course that ramps up in september as long as they get it off on time, we'll see. Who knows? Um, but that that's going to be fun. That's another, you know, hey, every Eagle season, you know, I'll be here on YouTube doing my wonderful uh, videos before and after games. So you'll have that to look forward to. And we have a lot of exciting things going on right now. There's so much sports going on. After all those months of, like, not, no sports besides maybe, like, I don't know, table tennis or, you know, beanbag toss or horseshoes or whatever they were doing you know mma and stuff like that now and you know okay now we have baseball we have basketball we have hockey <laughs> and my flyers are the number one seed in the eastern conference that's right shout out to to tj fan of course flyers are the number one seed in the eastern conference took care of those bruins capitals and lightning <laughs> to get the number one hey we finally have a goalie oh my god isn't it wonderful we finally have a guy that can stop the puck that's important. <laughs> and they have a lot of young talent, too, on their defense. And it's, just, it's, it's a fun team, and they're well coached. I'm not going to go too crazy, but I'm happy with what I'm seeing right now for the Flyers. I'm definitely more happy with what I'm seeing with the Flyers than what I'm seeing with the Phillies bullpen at this point, okay? Gotta give me sign in the fact that the Sixers get hurt all the time. So, you know, it's nice that, you know, we have a team that seems to be getting it right. <laughs> at the right time of year, even though they're, it's going to be bubble hockey this year in Toronto and Edmonton. But it's still exciting. It's the playoffs. It's the Stanley Cup playoffs. It, it's exciting. And I'm, I'm happy that we have a team, hopefully, fingers crossed, that's going to have a nice deep run this year. Hey, that's a great thing. Whether it's here in Philly or in Toronto or in Edmonton, wherever, you win, you win. Okay? And it's been a little while since the Flyers last hoisted the big trophy at the end so we'll see i'm not putting the heart before the, the, the cart before the horse or anything here i'm just saying i have a good feeling with how i've seen them play but we'll leave it at that anything can happen in the playoffs we know that and for the sixers hmm. <laughs> it's just another year of just ah the frustration but Hey, you never know. You you you, you play the game. You, you you never know what can happen. Although we pretty much know what's going to happen, but it is what it is. And for the Phillies, maybe they should have spent a little more money on that bullpen. Just a bit. <laughs> but hey, it, it it is what it is. Hopefully, you know. Hopefully things get better for them too. I'm still a fan. I'm still watching every game. So we'll see what happens. Even though the they. That 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 bullpen's gonna. I, I'm not a drinker, but that might that might tip me over the, the scale to have a few extra watching them. 
Joe, leave your stars in a little longer. Just a little. Joe, you don't have to take them out now. No, here come the runs. <laughs> ah, the life of a Philly sports fan, right? All right, everyone. I've I've been here for 40 minutes, and, and, and that's all I can do for now. So I will see you on the next one. And as always, please hit that subscribe button. Once you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the bell icon so you'll get alerted when sweaty me is here uh, making my wonderful videos for you to enjoy uh, and, and make sure you hit that like button please because I've sweated through this thing you know for you so make sure you smash the like button and also feel free to leave comments below and I'll see you all in the next one take care